you mentioned that nudging and these, well, let's just say again in air quotes, lots of these tricks are being used so much in marketing or uh, sales, advertising, and actually all over the place if you if you are aware yeah. of it, of, of these principles. Do you think there are some of these principles which are used a lot? I mean, I mean, talked about a lot as in their usefulness in industry, but seem to you as if they are being misunderstood. Um, misunderstood in the sense of what? So, I mean, I mean, co- I w- we can we can does, break it down as in one concept and two effective effectivity. Okay, I think from the first perspective, I wonder does anybody care like an in industry whether they conceptually understand the decoy effect or not? Because uh, I, I always was under the impression if it works, it works, right? Or if you perceive that it works, right? And um, why it works is less interesting, right? right. That's kind of the the province of of science yeah, to yeah. understand right. um, effectiveness. I think that's a really good question, and um, you know, I have colleagues in marketing that I discussed this with at length, and and. Personally, I don't know how effective these things are because I, I've never seen really good data on the effectiveness of a decoy. Uh, I mean, I know it works in a lab setting. It works for some number of people in a lab setting. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's another important point. Often these things are portrayed as being kind of universally effective. They're usually not, right? They work on more people choose Dublin after another city is European city is introduced and if not, but it's not a wholesale shift from zero to a hundred percent. Right. Right. So, um, it works, I think at the margins and I think all of these nudges work at the margins to some degree. Uh, perhaps they're additive that you can pile a few nudges on top of each other and they'll, they'll be more effective. But I guess I'm a little skeptical about the overall effectiveness of these, uh, nudges to use a kind of a generic term, um, without seeing them, kind of really rigorously tested in in the real world. I believe they work in, in a lab environment. Do they work in a real world at places that marketers would be interested? I, I just don't know. And I guess that's, there probably isn't uh, data that's non, at least that's, I'm sure there's data that's proprietary, but there's no data yeah. Yeah, exactly. easily available for people like me to look and say, I okay, was about can, to say they would, yeah, I don't I mean, know any is, company that does it yeah, that I mean, would be willing to share. Of course. I mean, if you have insight into this, it's a competitive advantage. And why, yeah. why would you, I guess? Right. Yeah. Well, okay, then let me rephrase then what I meant with concept. I think what I meant was not necessarily mechanistically how it works, but to know enough about the theory to apply it uh, into practice. Okay. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. I mean, that that's something I guess... I mean, my sense would be probably, yeah, I honestly don't know. I mean, it's it's always a bit of a mystery to me how much people in industry know where they get their information from, how much yeah. of it is based on, say, primary articles or primary right. sources right. versus <laughs> not <laughs> versus how much is gleaned from, you know, blogs. the Sunstein and Taylor book and yeah. blogs. And, right. It's um, more that, I'm afraid. Yeah. And so then, you know, things often, of course, get... Uh, misrepresented somewhat once they once they even in papers sometimes they're misrepresented yeah, so once yeah. they 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 go away from that i think it's very easy for people to think oh there's this nudge that just works yeah and i think uh, that's so i think the whole nudges I, I feel a bit ambivalent about because on one hand i think they've been really useful in demonstrating to i mean for me my interest would be more in policy than in in, in business but to both of those uh, fields, nudges have been really useful in, in demonstrating the, the the usefulness of studying human behavior, studying psychology, basically, and what that can add to our understanding of decision making and how it can be applied to help people make better decisions, ideally. But I think there have been a little bit overhyped uh, at the same time. Yeah. And so uh, my fear is that at some point people say, well, these don't quite have the benefits that they've been promised and you you kind of get this backlash. 